All right. Another one. Up on the board, we've got a new area to watch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I guess would be the category two hurricane that is barreling towards Southern California and Los Angeles. It'll probably be a tropical storm strength when it hits, but it will still have major hurricane impacts, in my opinion. You've got a shit ton of rain coming in. They've gone ahead and extended the purple-pink danger zone up into Nevada, almost to Los Angeles. And I don't know if you know this, but the topographical situation in Southern California is pretty super crazy. And so, talking blanket, five to ten inches of rain and i'm pretty sure in the surrounding areas surrounding states somebody will get over 20 inches of rain uh, parts of las vegas have already seen over five inches look this is the rain that is already coming into southern california nevada and arizona and this storm still has a long way to go before landfall i would guess about 36 hours maybe a little less but notice how it's down here and it's got like an anti-tail of rain and moisture up into there super duper wild 2023 situation happening and if you look here here's the hurricane hillary and then here's the jet stream like look how crazy that is man and so it's gonna move forward supposedly hit this and then get pulled in and you're going to see a lot of super crazy situations. But right now, I'd like to talk to you about how the moon's haunted. That's right, NASA employee. Oh, hey, you guys are back early. Yeah, the moon's haunted. NASA employee. What? Astronaut. Loading a pistol and getting back on the rocket ship. Moon's haunted. That's right. I don't know if you know this, but as Lauren Grush says, the world's not having the best track record with the moon and moon landings these last few years. Russia's Luna 25 moon lander has experienced a problem following a command to enter the pre-landing orbit. Experts are analyzing the situation. Moon's haunted, y'all. There's something going on. Anywho, hey, y'all remember how like one month ago, I was in Vegas checking out the giant ball with a super cool crew. Well, I'm glad I did because it's now broken. Yeah, apparently when they built it, they didn't make it rainproof, which is, which is nuts, you know. But so yeah, now it's glitching, bitches. That's so crazy. But you know what one of my biggest pet peeves is as a screenwriter? People say, you can't make this up. It's like, yeah, dude, you can. You can literally, like, put fade in. Exterior, Las Vegas, giant sphere. It begins to glitch. You can make that up. It's not that hard. Anyway, this is real, though. Yeah, welcome to crazy times in crazy town. And we're 100 hours away from Mercury joining Venus retrograde. But hey, I got good news for you. Tomorrow night, the 20th, Venus will become visible throughout the rest of the year. That's probably some good luck. I know a lot of people who could use your prayers and an extra dose of good luck. A lot of those people are, are Canadian. Um, tons of wildfires ripping out. And I got a feeling that situation will definitely get worse over the next two weeks as we I don't think we've seen the peak of the heat yet for the summer. It is very, very, very bad. This is from a few hours ago, a apocalyptic scene in British Columbia amid desperate battle to save West Kalawomina. And that is nightmare fuel. So if you're hanging in there, you've got some friends, you got some family, you got a nice, decent place to live, got some food, maybe even some beer, something to smoke, I, I would try to be grateful for the goodness that is in your life and say prayers for all those who are definitely going through trying times right now and buckle up 
because the last two weeks of the month are going to be wild. This is going to create a lot of problems. All right, so let's do the rundown. Check down again real quick. We're watching this one for the 23rd. There's one unmarked here that'll come out the 27th, 29th. That is either going to go this way, it's going to go that way, or it'll go out to C. We need to track these thingies. And then the ones over here hopefully won't be that big of a concern. But some of the good news is that Atlantic and Gulf conditions are extremely hostile to cyclonic development at the moment and predicted projected for like the next week. Well, I guess this goes up to 26, so yeah. But if these conditions ever let loose, it's going to be trouble. They found a sunspot connection to the solar cycle, but at this moment, we can discuss that later. Right now, what I would like to talk about, if you don't mind, is that this pattern right here, I find fascinating. Of the sunspots, it's almost like the The sun is tilted. Did I say that right? Those billionaires were never going to fight. Yeah, I am your planetary defense commander, and we will track all the things. Stay cool, prevent World War III, and American Civil War Part Two. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And dang, I've done a pretty good job at Thor News for 10 years. I'm proud of that and thanks for being here with me whether you've been here the whole time or you just joined crazy, crazy days, days indeed days my friends, friends. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. all right god bless everyone and i will talk to y'all soon and i'm serious moon's haunted y'all Moon, bitch.